Gun Show. We have a very special guest today, Noah Lowry, um, who happens to be a very close friend of mine. He was my best man at my wedding, so I love this guy. But um, there's more to him than baseball. Although Noah is a retired American uh, baseball player who pitched for the San Francisco Giants from 2003 to 2007. He was drafted in the first round by the San Francisco Giants in 2001, and in his, after his junior year at Pepperdine University, where he went 14-2 and two with a 1.71 ERA. That was better than what I did when I was in, in high school. You did play ball, though. I did play ball. Yeah. Low, uh, Lowry enjoyed a very successful partial rookie year for the Giants in 2004, going 6-0 and oh, and finished with a 3.82 ERA and 14 starts. The next year, in 2005, Noah began the year with a 7-0 record. That combined, those 13 wins, is the longest winning streak for any pitcher in San Francisco Giants history. And he's sitting here on the Top Gun show. Unbelievable. After injuries cut short his amazing career, he he went on to become a successful entrepreneur and philanthropist. Uh, Noah has successfully transferred his winning attitude from baseball to the world of business and more importantly to everyday life. So um, what I want to talk about today is the Junior Giants program. I know you're involved in several businesses in Northern California uh, as well as being a a sales and organizational consultant for the telecom industry, which is cool. Um, But the Junior Giants, tell me a little bit about that. I think there's a misconception that the Junior Giants is kind of for San Francisco youth. Okay, so real quick, uh, one, thank you for having me on, man. You're welcome. I'm glad you're here. I mean, we're buddies, and you're you're reading the script. What are you doing? Well, because I don't memorize all. I don't. I'm just giving you a hard time. (laughs) Top Gun show. Love watching it. Then getting better. Love what you're doing. Seriously. You know you're somebody when you get on the Top Gun show. (laughs) So, uh, in in my playing career, playing with the Giants and growing up in in sports and in baseball, um, I saw what the game could do for one myself but then other youth out there and so uh, the junior giants program was a natural fit for me as i played for the giants and then started to become involved at that point now it just basically takes and uses baseball as a vehicle to promote the importance of like building character and important life skills uh, like confidence and integrity and leadership and teamwork and things that are prevalent in sports uh, and it's packaged into a league for boys and girls ages 5 to 18. They're able to play for free, provide them all their gear. They provide a, basically a roadmap for these leagues. We're positioned down to like San Luis Obispo, which you start to get kind of into Dodger territory. Boo. <laughs> uh, all the way up into Oregon and all the way out to Nevada. So wow, there's like 90-plus leagues out there. And we serve about 25,000 kids a year that are able to play baseball and softball now. That's amazing. And so... Um, Love what the Junior Giants promotes. Love the how just sports in general can, again, take what may not be an opportunity for some or it creates an opportunity for uh, kids to grow, kids to learn, kids to go out and have fun in a safe environment. Right. Learn to deal with adversity, meet new people, work as a team. So the, the game of sports is beautiful. The Junior Giants program is something, yeah, I'm, I'm very passionate about. And, uh, yeah. Now, I've heard that they are expanding the outreach from just pure hardball baseball to softball, girls softball as well. Is that true? Yeah, so that, that's been a really cool program that's developed over the last couple of years. Uh, we started softball. Boys and girls both can play. We're seeing more girls play softball, but boys are welcome as well. And uh, we follow basically the same roadmap. It's, it's the Junior Giants baseball program packaged into softball so that um, boys and girls both can go out and play the same game very cool yeah so how does somebody get involved if they if they want to serve in some way being a coach or assistant coach what what website do they go to how do they find out more information? awesome yeah so at juniorgiants.org you can again any computer phone jump on there juniorgiants.org uh, you'll find more information about the overall organization but also the leagues within your area we all are, are volunteer based and so um we rely on our volunteers to come out and help out. So if uh, you are compelled to come out, please go to juniorgiants.org and check it out. That, that's fantastic. And and on a personal note, I know that you're kind of clairvoyant, so I'm going to ask you, are the Giants going to win the World Series this year? 
Uh, as a Giants fan, I hope so. Uh, I can tell you that every year, uh, the Giants, this is something that I grew to love uh, playing with them. They're, they give the fans and the organization a chance. They're going to put a winning team out on the field. Um, if everybody stays healthy, you never know what can happen. So right, right. we'll all be rooting for them. They've got probably one of the best cultures in all of baseball. Just, I mean, because you've, I, because I know you, you've told me some of the things that go on. Even after you stop playing for the Giants, just a tight, tight uh, organization. From the front office all the way through the organization, uh, you've got people who have been there uh, a long time running. They bring in solid uh, people who are based on their character uh, and their work skills, their talents as well out on the field. Um, it's it's basically it's built from the ground up and then they keep people long, around for a long time and yes the uh, culture there is important well thanks for spending some time with us today on the top gun show and uh thanks for watching